I've discovered a little bit of an issue here with these side rails. When I tip them up, they lean out really stupid. And it's because there's a head space here for the hinge. So I'm going to cut some kind of little pillow pad type things and weld them on here so they have a rest when they open. I found out what I'm going to do with my vise. I'm going to stick it over here. You'll get to see how I do that. And then I've got to come up with a cross brace for the front so that when I'm driving down the road, these stay where they're supposed to so they don't smash in or flip off the side or do all kinds of crazy stuff going down the road. So that's what we're going to do this time. And we are recording. I don't know if it's time lapse or not. It should be. It was left on time lapse. Uh, one second. I removed the cross member my nephew helped me put in here. The reason he had to do that is I had to haul that the cement mixer back for another project. And since I wouldn't have help later in the week, I had him tilt these out and he welded a cross member in. And then I was able to position the cranks kind of where they would fit and kind of test them out as well. Because when I got them in and I tightened them and I cut the cross member out, the, the sides actually tilted out. So that was a good thing because this the winch is needed because this weighs a good 200 pounds I'm pretty sure good 150 anyway it works really nice to convert it from side rack to tabletop just by turning it. Don't let go of the handle. That's what happens when you let go of the handle. That, that, that did hurt really bad, by the way. Well, so they're down now. And these are really in the way as far as working. You run into them all the time. So I made these removable. the steak pockets, but I put a toolbox to put them in. 
There's also room for an ammo can full of ratchet straps and some other things in there. I also put lights on it, so I can tow it down the road a little more. Well, it already attracts a little bit of attention. It doesn't need to attract any more. We also had a problem of it tipping backwards if it was unhooked from the truck. So I added a little swivel jack back here to keep it from tipping. So now pretty much it's a four-legged workbench. It's just two of the legs are or tires and here's I had to move the jack on the front because of the way the previous owners had it in there and then the, as well as I said I wired up lights so we're pretty much done with this for a while I've got a project I gotta forge this one this is good enough for now so I'll come back to it and add more stuff to it I do have to stiffen up this front panel because it's just tin and I have to make a section that slides up out of here to bolt to the front to stabilize the rack in the front and act as a, a sideboard for the front then I'll make a bar that attaches in the back as well 